What's going on everybody, this is Paradise Cities. Uh, today I'm bringing you a tutorial on some render settings, a new updated one. There's a few settings that I wanted to update uh, from my last video. And this is specifically, well it's not specifically, but it's for the HD capture cards. Um, possibly use this with a dazzle, but I don't know how the, how the quality will turn out. But this is for the Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle, which I have, and the Blackmagic Intensity Pro, which I had. And the Hophawk HD PVR, I'm going to go over a few settings that are specific for that. Well, first of all, with the Blackmagic, uh, you will want to go to Star Control Panel and go to the Blackmagic Control Panel. If you're using HDMI, uh, you want to make sure the set input is for HDMI. If you are using component, like if you're on a PS3, then make sure you select component. There's a lot of people that didn't get preview window or they didn't get any video on their screen and the reason why is because they didn't have the input uh, set correctly. Once you have that, you open up the Media Express, which came with the Blackmagic product. Uh, as you as you can see, there's no this is the preview window, but it's black because my Xbox isn't turned on. Make sure and uh, preference you have your project video format correct. I am at HD 720p 59.94 frames per second. I'm using Motion JPEG, which is compressed. I am not capturing it uncompressed and because I think compress is just fine um, once you have all that just click capture right here and then once to stop it just click capture again and it'll save the file over here or it'll give you option to edit over here and everything once you're done with that you wanna import it into Sony Vegas which is where I do all my rendering and editing um, even though there's not much editing from my from what I do. If you look at what I have right here, this is Sony Vegas 7.0. I do have both 7.0 and 9.0. Um, the reason I, I use 7.0 to render out all my videos because I was reading on a video editing forum and people were, were saying that for Sony Vegas 8.0 and 9.0 they have a lot of issues from codecs to you know just a bunch of problems and the last one that had no problems or or that they fixed everything was 7.0 and so it was best to use 7.0 and that's why I'm using it now the reason why I have 9.0 as, as well is because I have some projects saved on Sony Vegas 9.0 and some templates saved and when you have that you cannot open it on a previous version as in 7.0 so that's why I have 9.0 just to open those projects um, but once you have your clip you open up Sony Vegas I'm gonna go over settings for both on Sony Vegas 7.0 and 9.0 so just bear with me um, and also I'm gonna go over two format uh, two render setting formats the WMV uh, format and the MP4 format um, now once as I was saying once you have your clip you want to import it you could drag and drop into your timeline or your project media or you go to file import media and select your media uh, once you have that put in your timeline uh, first you want to go file properties um, if you see this yellow manila folder over here just click that select your clip open it and let it match up and usually it, it should be all fine just make sure the full resolution rendering quality is at best I think the default is that good uh, and the motion blur type I'm using is Gaussian asymmetric and I'm not using I'm using none on the deinterlace method under audio uh, sample rate the default is 44,000 bit depth is 16 and resample and stretch quality is good uh, I changed that to 48,000 sample rate, 24-bit depth, and best. Uh, you can leave it on default. It's just I like my audio to be as good, so I upped it up a little bit. Once you finish all that, remember to click Start All New Projects with these settings up here at Template. Rename it. You know, type a name for it. Click the Save button. And once you're done with all that, click Apply. Click OK. And if you ever need it you could just go back to that template but since you start all new project with these settings you should be good to go because you know it, it is what it says every time you open up something these settings will be uh, be in place um, now with once you have your clip in your timeline I know for this 
setting right here is specifically for the Hop Hog HD PVR because with the videos that they record there are some ghosting and some motion blurring and stuff so what you can do is right click on your clip go to properties and you would disable resample it should be on smart resample but click on disable and you'll see that that ghosting or blur uh, it's gonna be gone with the black magic um, I never looked at it when I had my intensity pro but I wouldn't think it would be any different on the shuttle I was trying to look through the video I didn't see any ghosting or anything but if you're paranoid you can disable it if you want but like I said I don't think it's necessary um, also specifically for the hop hog you want to either click this right here to go to your event pan and crop or you could right click on your clip and click video event pan and crop and usually uh, with the hog pog it usually has a black line on top and on the right and what you can do is just drag this down a little bit and drag this over to your left a little bit uh, a little bit and in your preview window you'll see that the black line is gone or drag it until you see the black line is gone once you've done that uh, up here at your preset same thing click it um, rename it you know like HDP var click save and every time you import just go to that template and it will set everything for you so that you don't have that black line um, now all these that I just told you it goes for Sony Vegas 7.0 and 9.0 so in 9.0 properties disable resample um, video event pan crop same thing now also with the HD PVR a lot of people use these color curves um, usually I think they you know under your video effects you go to color curves reset to none um, and then you adjust I didn't do any of that so I'm not sure in that another thing they might use is the color corrector uh, I think it's the secondary and you, you, you would add studio RGB to computer RGB or it's one of these uh, either computer RGB to studio or studio to computer um, but that's for the Hawpog HD PVR only uh, with the black magic I found that you didn't need to add anything um, in the past I have I have gone to sharpen and have uh, reset to none if you can see right here I'm gonna do it real quick if I'm gonna let go and you can see it comes out a little bit better but I really don't see it like n exactly necessary to do it um, so uh, once you've done all that um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I miss I don't think so once you got your transition or your video effects or once you finish editing everything it's time to render it to render the file basically you want to you want to go to file render as before I start if you look down here um, there's this option right, right now it's not it's not highlighted where I could select it because I didn't select anything it's rendering out the whole clip but say I want to test something and I want to render uh, this part so you will select that part file render as and you want to select render loop region only what this means is it's only going to render out this part that you selected now if you don't have that selected or you know checked the whole file or the whole project is going to be rendered out so again if you want to test some settings and you just want to see how it looks just you know highlight five seconds or so you don't have you don't have to sit there for an hour let it render out just to see that if you add a color corrector in correctly or in, or something like that just select five ten seconds file render as check the render loop region render it out and that's it uh, but since we you render out the whole entire clip you know you don't have to select that um, so first of all there's two file formats WMV and MP4 let me start with the MP4 I used to use this but I don't anymore because I think WMV looks better now for some whatever reason <laughs> and so the save as type is main concept AVC slash AAC is that MP4 make sure it's the main concept one not 
Sony ABC because when you use that one, you use the same settings. Um, the files are a lot bigger. I don't know. It's the way they render it out. I don't know. But main concept, the template is usually on default. So if not, just click default and click custom. I'm gonna use mine real quick. Um, under project tab, video rendering quality, make sure that's at best. I think the defaults at draft are are good. Uh, audio again, I think default is 44,128. Um, bit rate but I changed it to 48,192 bit rate uh, make sure include audios you know checked under video custom frame size you want to match it up 7, 1280 by 720 profile using main match up the frame rate you can use 29 uh, that 97 because I think YouTube re-encodes it or re-renders it or whatever to 29 but I always use 59.94 um, pixel aspect ratios one number of reference frames two use deep blocking filter now with what am I using Sony Vegas 7 okay with Sony Vegas 7.0 you can use constant bit rate and watch if you select 10,000 you go to audio you go back it's still selected at 10,000 now if you look on Sony Vegas 9.0 let me see MP4 main concept. If you select constant bit rate, you go to 10,000. You select, you move the thing, you know, go somewhere else. You go back. Okay, no, that was embarrassing. But usually, this it would was for some reason. Once you save it or you, once you move to another spot, and you look at it again it's back at 768 and that's why with Sony Vegas I usually just leave it a variable and I make the max and the min 10,000 oh I forgot to say well let's let's just go back to 7.0 so I use variable bitrate um, if the constant bitrate works you know where it's supposed to work then that's fine but variable bitrate at 10,000 uncheck the two paths you don't need that um, Actually, with this, um, I can't say do 10,000 for you. That's what I render out as, but for you, you can use whichever you want. From 8,000 to 14,000, 6 would be the very minimum that I would even consider. Um, so, with that, it's just, all these settings are the same with 9.0 as well. So, once you've done that, um, up here, template, name it, save it and you're good to go now if you want to use WMV you know select WMV is usually at the bottom uh, it's usually on default make sure you select 6 MBPS HD 720-30p video uh, click custom again video rendering quality best audio I left it alone I believe video you want to use CBR which is constant bit rate just once uh, just CBR no two pass and you know 1280 720 same thing over everything just move this to 100 on video smoothest the bit rate from this I think the default is 6 space M just change that to 10 dash uh, 10 space M and same thing up here template save it and that's about it so with 9.0 7.0 the render settings are the same and the last thing I want to say is with the HD PVR with their program, I think it's the Total Media Extreme, um, you want to record in the constant bit rate of 13 and a half and uh, because you want as best quality as you can before you start rendering and because when you render the quality will go down even more. Um, but that's about it. Hopefully I covered everything and hopefully this video will help you if there's any questions at all feel free to ask me I'll either sit down and work with you and also feel free to send me a quality test and to see how it looks like if there's anything else that I want to critique I will let you know and we'll go from there other than that I'll talk to you guys later